Hello guys, this is little old me, back with another video. Okay, I don't know what they're doing upstairs. I don't know. It sounds like something do something that has like um, machinery involved. So if you guys hear that in the background, that is not me. I'm not doing nothing. I don't have anybody in my apartment doing this stuff. It sounds more like it's upstairs or I don't know. I don't know. Upstairs or next to me, I don't know. All right. <clears throat> With that being said, I am doing a review of Spirit World number one. And this is the one that came out, I believe it came out in May. I'm not exactly sure, but this is a beautiful variant cover. I really love this cover. So, back during the Lazarus Planet event, which I don't have all of the Lazarus Planet books. I think I'm missing two of them. We were introduced to this character. And I cannot pronounce um, the name. Um, I, I can't. But we were introduced to the world of the spirit realm. And Constantine was um, in that issue, or in that story. And I'm like, oh, no, working with Constantine in any kind of way, shape, or form is not a good idea for your continuing health. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Constantine is 700 levels of weird. He's a, I, I really like Constantine, but he's just weird. Um, so uh, Batgirl gets sucked into the spirit world, and that's where it ended. And I said in that video... When this when this uh, warrior um, has the comet, you know, the comet comes out, and we're introduced to her. They, I don't know what pronouns that the character prefers to be called, so I'm just going to say um, she until I find until they release that information. Um. But, um, yeah, so this warrior, she is, she has the ability to go between the living and the dead. And that is what I was really psyched about. Like, okay, we are going to find out what happened to Bat, Bat Girl, Bat Woman, or Bat Girl? Bat, it was Bat, Bat Girl, Bat Girl. Cassidy Kane is listed as being Bat Girl. Um,. And I really like Cassandra Kate. I was I was introduced to her in the early, uh, towards mid uh, two thousands. She's a great character, absolutely a great um, character. So finally, finally, her comic book comes out, and I really, I want to say I really love the illustrations and the and the the drawing style. <clears throat> Um, of that. And this is the spirit world. Looky. Just, oh man. Yeah. So, you know, she's in the spirit world, and um, she's, she's, so, in this um, world, if you are a living person, you can be attacked by the spirits that live in this realm, especially these creatures that were after her. Um, it's more Constantine. Um, doing what Constantine does, uh, ignoring people's personal boundaries. <laughs> um, like I said, I absolutely love what they did with Castrea's face. She's so cute. I just love it. Um... I don't really understand what the deal with that was right here. 
I don't. Um, all right. So overall, what did I think about this issue? I really happened to like it a lot. Um, I was really psyched about the series to begin with. Um, this was supposed to come out during the month of Pride, but they decided to release it in May, which uh, does not go with it, but okay. Um, and I really personally didn't care what month that Spirit World came out, just as long as it came out. As long as it came out within a certain period of time. Like, I didn't want to wait 9, 10, 11 months for Spirit World to come out. So it coming out in May. I don't care. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have cared if it came out in July or June or like April. I wouldn't have cared. The fact that we really did not have to wait long for Spirit World is great. It really says that DC understood that there was probably a hype about her. And so that's what we are. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that people are not waiting a long time. So I've had I've I've seen people comment on Spirit World off of Facebook saying this is a really I'm really enjoying this series. And I am. I'm really enjoying this series. This girl I really can get um involved, you know, uh really into. Um but yeah, it's a it's a it's a great series. And I think that I personally think that uh that it was really well done. And what really adds to what I really find the most appealing of it all is written by Asian off Asian writers and illustrators. Finally. <laughs> I really don't I mean no Monkey Prince is one that is, but you really don't see and I, I might be wrong in this, so please pardon me if I am. Please forgive me if I am wrong about this. But you don't really see a lot of Asians or a lot of Asian Asian Americans that are writing and drawing and making you, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the rest of the sentence. But... I just absolutely think that it's awesome that you have Asian Americans that are doing this kind of work and doing a very good job in it. You, Asian American writers and uh, and uh, artists and all this, they cannot go wrong with their own culture. They absolutely cannot go wrong with their own culture. This is based on the. Um, practice of burning paper um, to send resources to the spirit world. And that's what it actually says in the back of it. Um, so absolutely, absolutely a great, great book. And I will be reading the second book in the series. I don't know how many volumes, not volumes, I don't know how many books or issues are going to be in this, but this is just really, really good. I, I enjoyed it a lot. All right, so I'm going to give it five stars. It's a, it's a good, solid first issue, and um, I enjoyed it. So um, I will end it there. hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys around. Bye.